A quick look at some of the high-tech weapon systems which have been sent to Ukraine. But many of these bits of kit are expensive, and getting the right amount quickly enough could explain this latest move. Welcome to the past, as we meet the Hawk missile system. These pictures were filmed by the US military in Vietnam in the 1960s. They show the early variant of the Hawk. It's been in operation since 1959, and these antique shots aren't our attempt to hammer home just how old it is. It's just we couldn't find many pictures of the system at all. Hawk is a medium to long range surface to air missile with an operational range of 45 to 50 kilometers. It can fly up to 65,000 feet and reach speeds of Mach 2.4. It was used by the US right up until 2002, but was largely superseded by the Patriot missile systems by 1994. But many other nations around the world have used Hawk and continue to do so. Now here's our Hawk missile. This will knock down any aircraft that flies from, say, above 40,000 feet. I heard about that in Europe. Didn't it also knock down a missile? Yes, we've knocked down two missiles. We've knocked down both Honest John and Little John with this. We're about ready for this firing. Shall we go back to the safety area and see it? That's 50s Hollywood star Audie Murphy, who was also a decorated Second World War hero, seeing how the Hawk system worked in a promotional film from 1960. But be under no illusion. The Hawk systems heading to Ukraine from Spain are massively updated and vastly superior to what we're seeing here. Having said that, they're still past their prime, so why is the US considering dusting them off and sending them themselves? Quite simply, they're available right now, and plentiful. It's thought over 40,000 Hawk missiles were produced. Some of the newer, albeit far superior systems, are still awaiting supplies. And with that notion, we're tapping into a potential trend here. The usual peacetime supply of weapons from suppliers to countries is being disrupted by the war in Ukraine. Understandably, that conflict takes precedence, which means weapons deals are being done in unusual ways. On the back of deals for tanks and howitzers, Poland has signed a deal to buy 288 Chunmu rocket launchers from South Korea, far from one of its usual suppliers. The first 13 of which will be delivered as soon as 2023 to protect eastern Poland. It seems at this time of European conflict, nations are being truly pragmatic about where they source their firepower. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.